This is Piet Cummings doing wiki number four for learning in the classroom. Uh, our topic the past week or so has been cognitive views of learning. So our first question over cognitive views of learning is uh, summarize what you have learned in this section in one to three sentences and explain why it's important for educators to understand it. So in this section we learned how cognitive processes work uh, specifically, we covered how we encode information to our brains um, through automatic and selective attention, along with the characteristics of our sensory memory, such as its duration and its capacity. After this, we discussed how sensory memory is transformed into working memory and what some of the characteristics of working memory are. From here, we talked about some characteristics of long-term memory, uh, the process of how bits become stored in long-term memory, from working memory and what some efficient ways of, of improving your long-term memory recall are. This topic is important to educators uh, because it explains how teachers can share knowledge with their students in a better way that their students will more likely are more likely to remember to recall. Number two is identify one or two specific concepts that are related to the CPC problem you chose and explain how does this concept principle play a role and relate to the problem. Uh, so the attention and the process of encoding information from sensory memory all the way up into long-term memory are both concepts that can be related to my CP CPC problem. If the students who are struggling in class are watching the videos but are not are having trouble paying attention to the information included in it or are being overloaded with information, it won't effectively be encoded into their working memory. If this is happening, then later when they try to apply the concepts from the video, uh, they will not be able to retrieve it because it wasn't encoded, so it doesn't exist in their long-term memory. So, um, moving on to number three, uh, how could you address this problem? How could you address this part of your problem slash what part of your intervention will relate to this aspect of the problem? Uh, one way I felt that you could specifically address this problem if people are having trouble encoding the proper information would be to review uh, the important information slash concepts from the videos uh, before having the students start their assignments. Um, doing this, if a student missed something important um, due to a lack of attention or due to being overloaded with information, uh, they'll have a chance to re-encode this information and then use it later on their assignment. If the student already has the information in their long-term memory, this will just further rehearse it and will just further embed it into the memory, making it also more efficient for them to recall. So it's kind of a win-win for both the students struggling and the students who are doing a good job. All right, well, that's it.